In the last video, we introduced order of operations, and I gave you two practice questions to try. In this video, we're going to go over those solutions. As always, if the previous video helps you and you want to support more videos on TrevTutor, you can sign up to be a member for only $2 or $5 Canadian a month by hitting the join button down below. If you do, I appreciate your support. If not, a like, comment, sharing, that helps just as much. So thank you for doing that. Anyways, let's talk about these two questions. So these have variables in them, but I give you numbers to put into those variables. So the first thing we're going to do in each of these problems is we're going to substitute those numbers in, and then we're going to follow the general rule of order, oper of order of operations, which you can either think of as bed mass, if you like that abbreviation, or there's also PEMDIS, which means the same thing. Either it's brackets or parentheses first, then exponents, then division and multiplication, and then addition and subtraction. So let's do some substitutions here. So we have negative 2r, and here we're saying r is 2. We're going to subtract t minus 6. Well, t is 3, so that's 3 minus 6. And that's all squared. And then we have 4 minus r, so that'll be 4 minus 2. OK, the first thing we need to do are everything in parentheses. So we're going to focus on 3 minus 6 first. So let's do that. We're going to get negative 2 times 2, and we're going to subtract something squared. So 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Uh, it'll be squared, and then that's all over 4 minus 2. Okay, next we're going to work, as, uh, work on exponents. So we're going to do this uh, negative 3 squared. So our next step is going to be uh, negative 2 times 2. Then we're going to subtract negative 3 squared. Well, this is the same thing as negative 3 times negative 3, which gives us positive 9. So we're subtracting 9 here. And this is all over 4 minus 2. Our next step is to do division and multiplication in the order that they appear in. So in this case, we have multiplication of uh, negative 2 times 2. So we'll do this here. So negative 2 times 2 gives us negative 4. Then we'll subtract 9 and do 4 minus 2. At this point, we just have some subtraction to do on the top and bottom. So on the top, we have negative 4 minus 9, that gives us negative 13 on top. And on the bottom, we have 4 minus 2, which gives us 2 on the bottom. And we end up with a fraction negative 13 over 2. Uh, at this point, if we could simplify, we could. But negative 13 over 2 cannot be simplified further. Uh, if we want, of course, we could just turn this into a decimal form and we get negative 6.5. Uh, but typically, you would want to leave it in fraction form because that is precise. So that's the first question. Next question, we have an absolute value here, so maybe you can remember how to do these from the absolute value video. First thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute in our variables with numbers. So r is 2, so we're going to have 2 divided by 2 plus uh, t over 6, so that'll be negative 3 over 6. And that's going to be divided by the absolute value of t over negative 3, so that'll be negative 3 over negative 3. And then we're going to add r over negative 4. So that's going to be 2 over negative 4. OK, so we don't have any exponents. We don't have any parentheses. But we can treat the absolute value bars like parentheses. So we should do that at some point. OK, so I just see a bunch of fractions. So I'm going to do division on all of these when I can. I'm going to simplify them as much as I can. So we're going to do division on 2 over 2, negative 3 over 6 negative 3 over 3, and 2 over negative 4, and we're going to simplify them as much as possible. So 2 over 2 is 1. Uh, then we're going to add negative 3 over 6. We can divide the top and bottom here by 3 to simplify this, and we're going to get negative 1 half. And this is going to be divided by the... That's weird. It was straight, and now it's not. There we go. We're going to divide by the absolute value of negative 3 over negative 3, so that's going to be 1. And we're going to add the absolute value of, or not the absolute value, but we're going to add 2 over negative 4. And that's going to be the same thing also as negative 1 half. Okay, so we have 1 plus negative a half divided by the absolute value of 1 plus negative a half. Okay, let's just do addition now on the top and the bottom. So we're going to add 1 plus negative 1 half. We're going to add 1 plus negative 1 half. So the top and bottom are going to really be the same here. On the top, we're going to have 1 half, and we're dividing that by the absolute value of 1 half. Okay, so now we have the absolute value of a single number on the bottom, 
This doesn't really fit anywhere in our PEMDIS or BEDMAS, but you know, now that we have a number here, we can evaluate this. We know that the absolute value is always going to give us a positive number. So we have a positive number here, so it's just going to be the same thing. Now we have 1 half over 1 half, and these are both the same thing. 1 half over 1 half, so this is equivalent to just 1. This would be like dividing 1 by 1 or dividing x by x. We just get 1 back. So our final solution here is just 1. Okay, that's a couple of questions for order of operations. Again, the important thing is just to keep either PEMDAS or bed mass in your head so that way you know exactly what to do first. Brackets, exponents, division and multiplication are done left to right in any order. Well, not in any order, they're done left to right, but multiplication, division are of equal importance. And then addition, subtraction left to right, again, of equal importance. And if addition and subtraction or multiplication and division send you back to an exponent or send you back to a bracket, then you prioritize that bracket or you prioritize that exponent in the next step. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. I'll get to you as soon as I can.